Hi everyone, this is Caleb from Kid App Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at an app called KidCalc. Now, I have actually previously reviewed this app a few weeks ago and showed you its really cool calculator functionality, which I'll show you again in this review. So, this has actually been updated with two really cool new features games, the counting and math puzzles and also includes some very nice settings and uh, so that this, ha this app has had a really nice update so I'll be showing you those new features so we'll go ahead and start with the counting puzzle and on this screen you see that you have a kind of like grid of uh, numbers and depending on what your settings are you can choose which order you're supposed to count so for example, this is in ascending order. One. So I have to go in the correct order for the page just to flip up. If you don't, you hear a little sound like this. So, two. two three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And a little trumpet sound there to kind of reward you and saying, hey, you did a good job. So once you correctly um, pick the numbers in the in the ascending order, you see a nice picture that is, is revealed. And there's actually a lot of pictures in this app, so there's always something cool that's going to be revealed as you play this. And the arrows down here for this little game, you have different themes. Like you have the Halloween one, which is really cool. Perfect for October coming up. So they all have different themes. So you can also re... Uh, rearrange them with the play button. You can have a different order show up. So let me show you some of the settings just for this puzzle before we move on to the next game. If you go down to settings, you can right down here, like I said, you can show it in the ascending or descending mode. If you want them ordered or random. And so I had it in ascending mode. And you can just choose if you want to have just numbers or icons or uh, numbers and icons. So if I just do numbers and icons, and I say I want them in descending order this time, so I have to count down from 10 to 1. Sorry, 9 to 1. Excuse me. Then you have the ordered or random. So that's how they'll be displayed on the screen. So this time let's go ordered. So let's go back. So now they're showing the numbers and the cute little icons like the jack o' lanterns. And now I have to go in descending order. And now they're all nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So it's not in the random order. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And a little trumpet again. And then reveals another nice picture. So that's how the settings work for uh, the um, counting game, which is really cool. Gives you uh, some really good control over how you want them uh, to be displayed. Okay, well, let's move on to the calculator. And um, this one has four different themes. They all have the same themes. So you can rotate from there. And we'll go ahead and show you how this works. Very nice. You just... Five planets. Here, and also the little girl will come on and tell you the number that you tapped on. Two. Minus. Minus. Two planets. Equals. Equals three planets. So it's very nice when you tap the buttons, you hear the little girl say the number that you tapped, and you get to see the equation in the end and the result. So kids really get to understand what they're looking at and what's going on. And you can also replay it. Five planets minus two planets. So you see everything go through again. Equals three planets. So it's very nice. And you can also uh, change six the icons UFOs, by moon, tapping the buttons. Eight, you get new one, sets of icons up there. UFOs, eight, a lot of them are very moons. cute. So the cool new themes. Eight jack o' lanterns, nine bats. And also this edition Two of this app, houses. the update has Plus zero. So this zero. is good for haunted teaching houses. kids how you know how how does zero Equals work in an equation? Two haunted houses. So that's a very cool little add-on to the calculator. So that's basically how the calculator works. Um, very easy to use. Now you can see the equation. It says it out for you, so the kids can really understand what's going on. And you can replay it down there. It's got four 
very cute themes. So let's move on to the last one in the math puzzles. Now these are a bunch of flashcards and this uh, works the same way as the counting where once you tap on one and you solve the the flashcard, the little equation, it disappears and you see a little bit of the picture that's being revealed. So I'll show you how that works. Then I'll show you the settings for this as well. So let's do this one. one. Bat plus five bats equals and the cool thing is you have to then choose what it is. So if you choose the wrong one, hear the drum sound, six. Six. Back. Good thing I know my math so I can do this. <laughs> one plus five. And then she repeats six. it again, then it disappears. You, and you kind of start seeing, oh, you know, what's the, what's the background image? Gets the kids excited because they have to, you know, do a good job to be able to see what's, uh, what the image is. So you can replay it, you can you know, scramble this up if you want. I won't go through the whole thing to show you. Take a little while to go through all these, little, all these little equations, but you get the idea of how it works. And let me show you the settings real fast. Go down here. And for the math puzzle, you can choose to have addition only, subtraction, or addition and subtraction, which is very nice. I really like these settings a lot. So if we go make it a little harder, let's do addition and subtraction. So now it's mixed. Makes it a little bit tougher. So that's it for math puzzle. And that's it for Kid Calc. I really like this app and uh and all the, the, the cool updates are coming out for it. The two new games are uh, were really neat. Just help um, helping your kids more and more learning about numbers and uh, basic arithmetic operations and everything's very colorful I really like the graphics the icons are very cute in the Five app bats. kids Five will really be attracted houses. to this and I know in, in the, the future they're coming out with more updates where they'll have multiplication and division and there's going to be more advanced settings so you have finer grain control over what your um, kids will be seeing in the app so you can really control what uh, math operations they'll be doing depending on their age and their skill of currently what they know of math. So it's very nice for parents for that nice control. And there's also a uh, light version of this app which comes with the calculator. So if you want to kind of get a feel for this app and try it before you buy, it's on the App Store free which is a cool thing. And I definitely think you should purchase this app because I think it's awesome. It's um, really great what it teaches your kids and I think it's very attractive. So there's a lot of functionality in this app and it really keep your I think kids entertained for a long time and very educational. So I definitely take a look at this app in the app store. And that's it. And we'll see you here next time at Kid App Reviews.